Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another special episode of what's going on in football this week. Um, obviously the main headlines just broke a couple of hours ago, um, not that long at all. Um, Steve Bruce is the new Newcastle manager. Now I, un I really do understand why um, Newcastle fans are not happy with the appointment. Uh, a few have got written down right in front of me, but I'm going to talk to you uh, a few more reasons why I'm not happy at all. Uh, a few of them, he's been sacked. Um, the other few, he's resigned. Um, and to be honest, he's ex the manager. Um, now, to put that into perspective for other fans, that'd be like, let's say for example Arsenal, they sat Benga and then they got Pochettino. Um, you know, it ain't gonna go down well whatsoever. Um, yet again, it'd be the same like Brighton, and Saki Christian and then putting Roy Hutchinson in charge, it won't go down well with the fans. Um, but you know, he's been sacked, he's been this, he's been that. Um, I'm on your side, you Castle fans, um, don't worry. Um, the only thing I can think of a way out, and it's the same for the club you're going up against your first uh, game against, which is Arsenal, um, is pro uh, protests, don't turn up to games, don't buy merch. Um, another thing that I think might be possible for you and come straight back up is go down. Uh, obviously, go down less money, and then if you don't buy tickets, you don't buy merch. Uh, Mike Ashley really is in trouble, even though he will get money from other businesses, it won't be as much as he's already getting from Newcastle. Um, but Steve Bruce, new Newcastle manager, I know a lot of you fans aren't happy about it. Put your frustrations down in the comments below, I really am interested to hear. Um, but as Newcastle, I like the club, nice ground, I've been there once. Um, but uh, I know, as I've said, Newcastle fans are not happy. So, where where do Newcastle fans look now? Um, I'm expecting a lot of protests throughout the season. I'm expecting a lot of things from Newcastle fans. Um, apparently, another thing from Newcastle is I've read. Is that I'm not sure if it's 100% confirmed. I hope it is true because I want Newcastle to get their club back. Is that? Um, they've unsold 32,000 season tickets. People are having enough up at Newcastle. Um, so, you know, with all that, um, just keep on doing what you're doing. Uh, as I said, you're in the same sort of boat as us, so we'll get onto that in a minute. But, you know, as I said, Newcastle, I do hope you get your club back soon. Um, keep on doing what you're doing, do what you're planning, and uh, obviously we're going to have to take it from there. Now on to my other bit of news, it did happen earlier this week, but as I said, I'm calling it uh, football this week because it has happened in the week. Um, so, and that is Josh Conkey turned up to an Arsenal training session wearing a Rams t-shirt. Now, the Rams have nothing to do with football or soccer if you're from the United States. The Rams are an NFL team who Josh Dad Stan Conkey, who's the owner of Arsenal Football Club, owns um, he owns the Rams, he owns a few other uh, sports companies in the United States of America. Um, but Josh Conkey has came out saying that uh, two Arsenal fans be excited. If I was an Arsenal fan, which I'm not, um, I've got nothing to be excited about. I really don't. Um, yet again, Arsenal, I'm with you for this. Um, let's look at Arsenal's um, financial situation. They've got 45 million to spend in this summer window. Now, I know you Tottenham fans are probably laughing, you know, you passed them, they're the, your local rivals, you spent over a a billion on a stadium and yet you still managed to bring in star players but Arsenal are not in that boat um, but 
let's go to what Josh Conkey said and I'll get back onto Arsenal in a minute. Um, Josh Conkey said that we're trying to play we're trying to pay a Champions League fine on a Europa League budget. Right, okay. So what I want to ask you, uh, Stan and Josh, is what about the Rams reaching the Super Bowl final? What about the other businesses you own? You know, you own big businesses, you put it all into one. Don't let one of your companies suffer. All the Arsenal fans are thinking is your deputy bank. You know, you dip them when you want, you give them sort of money to them when you want. But that's not good enough. As a neutral football fan, as I grew up watching the Unfinsables and, you know, the likes of Thierry, Pereira, Perez. And this is Arsenal now, really. Um, but as I said, you've got to go to Newcastle first game of the season. You're both in the same boat. Try and comfort each other. Try and come up with some ideas of the way you can get your club back on track. I think Arsenal do want Stan Kroenke out now as well. So, you know, it's one of those things. But two chairmans, one out of opposite clubs. Um, I know what, well, let's say 200,000 fans can do if they put their heads together. I think the board could be looking at trouble for both clubs, especially if the fans do decide to get together. Um, my last bit of news is it's not in the Premier League. They did get relegated from the Premier League last season. Um, it's Huddersfield's new home kit. Here's a picture. Now, what were Huddersfield thinking of this design? I mean, I've never seen a kit like this before. I've seen it. I've seen. I've, I've seen kits like it, but I've never seen a sponsor go that sort of way. Um, but I'm looking at this, and I'm not sure what your hardest feel fans think. Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. But. I'm like, what the hell's going on? It looks like it looks like a um, it looks like um, I'll think of it in a minute. Um, well, you know what it looks like anyway when people win fashion shows and stuff like that. But, you know, Huddersfield, what were you thinking with this design? I can't get made around this. Um, but, yeah, that's Huddersfield's new home jersey for the next up and coming season. Um, but, you know, it's one of them things. Um, as I said, Newcastle got up against them. Um, Arsenal in the first game of the season. One on Newcastle again. They just lost 4 0 to Wolves in the Asia uh, Trophy or Cup, or whatever you want to call it, in their first game. Um, Steve Bruce is on his way up there now, so he will be in charge of Saturday's game. And I do believe it will be against West Ham. Um, Arsenal out in the United States um, playing Bon Munich. Uh, can't remember what day it is. I know it's a 4am kickoff in the UK. But, you know, what a weird week of football. Um, guys, put it down in the comments below if you'd like to see this return. Um, put your comments down in the comments below as well on all the situations I've brought up in this video. But, guys, we've got any video here. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Cheer up now.